Hello everyone and welcome to another new review and this one gonna be on Supergirl issue number 29 Oh yeah First of all, the cover looks amazing and this cover actually talks about what's inside of the comic book itself So this comic book starts up with a flashback for a friend of hers it's called uh, Sabin? I don't really know how to pronounce her name but it's kind of a weird name for me. Anyway, you know, she kind of talks about how Supergirl used to be before she got the Red Lantern Ring. And then we see her, you know, going all angry on her. And she actually wanted to take down her friend without knowing because she was unconscious at that time. So later on, we see uh, one of the prisoners in the block actually escaping. And it's the guy called Blaze. And it appears that if he escaped, you know, we all are doomed. So it's pretty much interesting. I, li I really like to see where where are we going with this guy right here. We saw in other issues like issue number 27 and issue number 26, I guess, as well. Anyway, later on we see another panel where uh, her friend Sabin, I'm going to keep calling her Sabin for now, you know, she'll be talking about her inner demons. And until, you know, she appears with this great outfit, you know, and her, this monster name is called actually the Silver Banshee, and it's uh, a magical monster, and it's kind of a family curse, so, you know, she wanted to help uh, the Red Lantern Supergirl by, you know, beating her down and just getting her down to calm down. So later on, you see her housemate called Alexa, and uh, this girl right here, she kind of called one of her friends Mega Mega yeah I don't know who she actually or who was he or who was he actually so she's telling him or telling her that you know uh, that Steven kind of used her powers and some other stuff so it's pretty interesting to see that actually they're looking and keeping an eye on this new character right here Steven or aka her new name Silver Banshee. They were only see a great fight between Supergirl and Silver Banshee and you know it was really one good fight. They were only see another great panel where Lobo actually got some information on his imposter and he's going actually to take him down later on. So later on we see in the next panel Supergirl taking off to somewhere in the space to actually revenge for to take revenge for Krypton. And that was pretty interesting. At the end of the issue, we see this Lord guy. He's on the planet called Can Karet. Karet. Yeah, hopefully I pronounced the name right as well. So I don't know who is he actually. But I'm really looking forward to see where are they going with this guy. And this whole story, this whole book was really good. I'm going to rate it a 9 out of 10. It's a read list for me. It's a balance for me, guys. Let me know what you think of this issue right down below. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share, and see you guys around. Take care.